Get back to our questions, Governor Haley. American students, they are in academic trouble. They have lower scores in math and reading. There's chronic absenteeism, that's at record highs. And this has even been called education homicide. You say school choice is the answer, but South Carolina, your home state, still has not enacted universal school choice, and even the current expansion won't be fully implemented until 2027. Parents can't wait four years for a fix, so what would you do right now? Well, and school choice isn't the only answer, but I'll tell you it's not out of a lack of trying that we didn't try and get school choice in South Carolina. What I'll tell you, first of all, is we have to acknowledge the fact that 67 percent of our eighth graders are not proficient in reading or math. Over 80 percent of our eighth graders aren't proficient in history or civics. And recently they came out and said our 12 and 13 year olds are scoring at the lowest levels they've been scoring in reading and math in decades. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure we catch our kids back up. We have to make sure they can read. A child that can't read by third grade is four times less likely to graduate high school. We need to do reading remediation. We need complete transparency in the classroom. No parent should ever wonder what's being said or taught to their child in the classroom. We need to make sure that we have school choice so that there's competition. We need to move all the programs from the federal government down to the states and let states decide what education looks like in their states. Right. And we need to start building things in America again. Let's put vocational right. classes back in our high schools and let's get our kids building the things that we know that we can make. When we start to focus on that and really bring in that parental and involvement, that's when we'll start to see a difference. But we've got to get parents back included. We've got to quit spending time on this DEI and CRT and instead focus on financial literacy, on digital literacy, and on making sure that our kids know what they need to do to have the jobs of the next generation. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.